Some of the biggest names in Aotearoa rugby gathered in Madrid over the past week. Sounds real interesting, but it was actually Atletico interesting because that's a stadium where the classic All Blacks played Spain yesterday. LCGW producers decided to hire Spanish camera hombre called Raul, and he did a mucho bueno jobo. His ham is Meconi. Hola, Conrad. Como estas, Tana? There were plenty of jandals and plenty of legends in Madrid. Even me, as, as a past All Black, I get so excited seeing these guys. You know, to see Rico Gare and, and Beaver, you know, wow. Beaver kicked the winning goal in the World Cup final, my God. I'm interested to see how Beaver goes. You know, he hasn't played, hasn't played for a while and uh, he looks like he's lost that weight that he had um, <laughs> at the World Cup the last time we saw him there. Joe Rokothoko is coaching at Racing Club in Paris and wasn't intending on playing for the Classic All Blacks. You know, when Massey Christmas was telling me, no, you got to put in the boots, and he goes, no, I'm not too sure. And he goes, mate, Andy went through all this. I was like, oh, bro, they to take it that day. And so, you know, you play for a purpose. You're playing for people who started this. Andy is All Blacks great Andy Hayden, the man who started the Classic All Blacks in 1988. I'm almost embarrassed to say this is my first classic All Blacks experience. I retired in 97, 98. The traditional thing to do when you're retired was to go to Bermuda with Andy Hayden to play rugby against all the old boys. So with my knee injury, I couldn't, couldn't do that. Tan is the coach, but he's decided to loosen the reins this week. It's just a week together, you know, there's a lot of other things to do while we're here, so, um, you know, we want to enjoy ourselves. Then it was on to the bus. Play us some tunes, DJ Fitzy. Well, I'm running down the road, trying to loosen my load. At Atletico Madrid's home stadium, there were a lot of Spanish links to Aotearoa. I travelled to New Zealand for my honeymoon, three weeks, and I went to a match and see the Waikato Chiefs. I really like to watch it and feel the, the atmosphere, the people, it's a beautiful sport. We are going to have a good time, either Spain wins or not. Then the rain in Spain fell mainly before the game, and Fitzy and Dan were soaking it up. The Classics raced out to a good lead. Conrad Smith runs left, oh, kicks cool. right for Gia! You can't coach class! Turns out Beaver's still got it, he got four out of five transformaciones. But then Spain roared back. A couple of decoys and then through the hands down a narrow right side and hit the door. That's a popular try for the Spanish national team in front of 40,000. Then the Spanish scored a try from the end of El Mundo. And Bell, they like this left side, Spain, an inside ball. Mateo, another inside ball, they're going to oh. get a try. Back to back, the crowd, they're on their feet and they celebrate along with their team. Give it out. Give it out. Yeah, you should listen to Tana. The Classics held on to win 33-26. You no, know, I think takeaways from being part of the Classics is, yeah, enjoy each other's company. Um, understanding, you know, a lot of us haven't been on tour before for a long time. And, yeah, just creating some memories, I think. All right, time to sign off. James McConey, Crowd Goes Wild.